Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a wonderful week this so far, you know, whatever season you happen to be in. A couple of weeks ago, I shared with you the lengthen command, which we learned could also be used to shorten. And I, we took a look at lines, how to lengthen lines. But let's see what happens when we lengthen arcs. Because I promised you I would show that to you if you were good. And rumor has it, you have been behaving yourself. So probably getting ready for Christmas <laughs> for those of you who celebrate it. All right, so the lengthen command. I'm going to grab it from the menu. I'm going to pick the lengthen icon, which to be honestly doesn't look anything like lengthen. I don't, I'm not, not really sure what that icon is meaning. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and select this arc. And, you know, once again, when you are going to the lengthen command and you select an object, it tells you about the object, but it does not use that object in the next operation, which is very confusing to me. Like, I would expect it to go, oh, you want to work on this arc. No just giving you information, just an FYI basically. So you can see the length on there and then you can see the actual angle of the arc, okay? All right, so let's say I wanna change the total length of the arc and I'm gonna say angle and I want the total angle to be instead of, um, instead of, what was it, 150, I want it to be, we'll make it shorter, 125. We'll show how the length and command can actually get shorter. So let me go ahead and, and you can see visually, whichever side you pick is going to make the modification to the object. Okay, I'll pick this, ob this side over here. So now it's, it's 25 degrees less, right? Okay, so let's do some more. Let's go back in and this time we'll do delta, all right? So instead of giving it the total length, what you want the total to be, um, let's just give it, tell we want it a little bit longer. All right, so uh, we'll give it the, that particular distance. So for the delta length, I want the delta length to be, let's increase it continually by 50 degrees. All right, okay, now, once again, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, you know what, did you see that? I just want you to see on there that that was the length. That's the physical length. It's gonna call me names because that's not gonna fit. This, that won't work with this angle. Um, so let's, let's just try that again. And let's do, because you could have done this mistake too, right? Let's do the delta and then say angle and then say 50. All right. Not the length. Probably would be too big to fit in that arc. All right, now we select the object and you can see once again, very visual. Which way do you want it to go? We'll go this way. Oh, then we'll go this way. And you can just keep going all the way around if you want to. Making it longer and longer and longer until you're happy. All right, got it? Okay, so that's delta. Be careful that you don't make that mistake. You have to make sure you say A for angle. All right, how about percent? Let's go back in and do percent. The, enter the percentage length, okay? So do you want it half the size? Do you want it 150% of the size? Let's say we want it to be half, all right, 50%. So you can see, once again, very visual, whichever side you select will be the side that it's going to cut off, all right? So I'm gonna pick the side over here and you can kind of see our arc is up over there. All right, so that's percentage. All right. So the last one, if you recall, last time I, I was not very excited about, that's dynamic. And I'll show you why I'm not that excited about it. But let's do dynamic, that's fine. And go ahead and select this arc, and you can see that very dynamically I can move that around and select, you know, exactly how long I want that arc to be. It tells you, you know, it gives you the distance. It's just not that exciting because I could also easily do that just by using grips, right? Select the arc, make a hot grip, and you can even select lengthen right there, right? Can even select the multi-function grip that's a technical term right on there there's a length and option i don't need to go in the length and command i get the exact same result so not very exciting really all right either way whatever makes you happy so now we've talked all about lengthen with straight objects like lines with curved objects like arcs right we have got it you're a lengthen expert go out and try it and have a great rest of the week all right thanks for joining me